Now, when I listen to Lazarus CD, it's like a breath of fresh air. You know, if you like true lyricists, like I like true lyricists, like Nas, like Ghostface Killer, like The Locks, you know, then you gotta listen to Lazarus. This boy is the truth. You know, it's like nowadays everything, I wouldn't say the state of rap is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say rap's in that. A bad state right now, but it's just kind of static, you know. Nothing, no one's doing anything different, you know. I mean, people are coming in basically just the same stuff. So, Lazarus is just something new to the game. It's, it's like a whole new breed of MC coming to the game. Uh, when you look, when you look at the future of hip hop, you got to think who's gonna bring something new to the table. You only got a few, few young rappers who are actually bringing something new to the table. You got people like Jay Hood. You got people like Jen. And then you got Lazarus. Well, Lazarus has charisma. He's a, he's a good storyteller. Um, I think with his hip hop, that should help him. Uh, I did a story about him. I did a video production about him um, that I did for a class uh, because he's, he stands out. He's not like everybody else. And um, he has, he's able to pull people into what he's talking about. And he, uh, he's gifted with communication. Jeffrey Francis Wolf. Uh... I'm a writer at the South End uh, newspaper here at Wayne State University. I'm also a student here at Wayne State University. And uh, I met Lazarus about a year ago, and uh, we bonded immediately upon hip-hop music, and uh, I knew immediately this is somebody who understood the concepts and the foundation of what hip-hop music is about. Lazarus got a new album for sale, talking about terrorism. So put him in jail, I got an email from someone telling me, hey, your shit isn't real, fuck you. I give you the deal when I'm telling you tales. I ain't dark or pale or mid oh, I'm brown or waxing and I'm bound to pound and the fucking And over time I got exposure to his silly. music I and uh, got to see that he was quite a talent. So me being a writer, I found a great feature article that I had written upon him two different times. and. Uh, this was over a year period, and um, I got a chance to pretty much write and comment on the progress that Lazarus, the artist, had made in that time. How I get a fan base when little Billy and George and Jeffrey decide if I sell any copies. You'd rather have me shot than cop me, right? You don't want to fucking Nassim Rashid getting in your brain from dropping planes or bringing pain to America to getting played and then getting paid in America. You act like I'm the one to blame in America. Sometimes I feel like I'm a slave in America. And in that time, I've seen fundamental changes in, in his realizations about raps and how to write lyrics and how to communicate with society and, and be intelligent and be raw at the same time. So I think from here on out, Lazarus is going to continue to grow and prosper and hopefully make some great albums, do some great live shows. And I know he's already on that tip, so I expect to see the same things come about. Let me tell you about freestyle battles. And this is the most nervous time that any rapper or any MC goes through. All right, yo. Hey, yo, he says it's, man, your hair is long, but it's like only three inches. If that's what long is, how long is his dick, kid? MCs want to mess around. You say that it's written. I'm spitting. Come on, dog. You better get to admit it that I'm on a murder spree and I'm on a rapping. Whoever I'm going against, you know, you, you have to see, look at him. And you have to, like, start putting words together in your head. You gotta start. Look at this guy right here. You know this guy's this guy's black. He's got an afro. You know what I'm saying? This guy can't flow. I'm about to make this flow sicker and bigger than his afro. You gotta start putting rhymes together in your head immediately, even before you get up on stage to battle, because you know these are the things that have to go through your mind. Because when you do get up on stage, and you know everyone, it makes you nervous, man. You you up there like, man, you don't know what to think. You just your heart's pumping like this. You know you can't you can't stop that from happening. Your heart's pumping. And you get up on stage in front of all these people and, and you're afraid because you know these guys are going to start booing you if you start doing something stupid. If you get up on there and like just choke, just straight up, you know, say a rhyme and just mess up, it's impromptu. It's impromptu. You, you, can't, you can't think of this stuff before. It has to be coming out of you at the same moment, at that moment in time. So you get up on stage and the second you start, you know, you release that word. And uh, and people, you know, people hear that first rhyme. I'm telling you, if you if you a good artist, after that first that first line, that's the nervous part. Then you feel like you're Superman. <laughs> then you feel like you can take out the world. You can conquer the world. That's how I feel. After one line's released, I just go out there like a bird, fly, ripping MC, ripping to his death. That's what I do. One thing for sure, Kanuki never win. He's lost 
job. We finna go to the celebrity judges. Number one, Jay, number one, Bill, number one, Sugar, number one, it's unanimous, Ma. It's unanimous, Lazarus, y'all, make some noise for Lazarus. 